the fitness vlogs are back. Yay! I know you guys have been wanting fitness vlogs forever, as have I, um, but they're back. So it's Sunday. So yeah, I'm very excited for the fitness vlogs to be back. The reason why they were gone for a while is just because I was so busy lately with like living my life and like being social and stuff and like going out into the world and doing things that I haven't been able to like make fitness vlogs. They are more of just like vlogs in my day, which I know you guys enjoy that as well. But to me, if I wanna put out a fitness vlog, I'm gonna put out a fitness vlog and make it like all fitness. So I haven't had like a day where I've just been like fitnessy and done fitness things and healthy things. And let me tell you, I don't feel like myself. So I don't like it. And the amazing thing is you have the ability to change your life at any minute. So I'm just going to get right back on track. I guess I guess I can call this project comeback, even though that's Sarah's days thing. But um, the reason that I can call it project comeback is because I downloaded her ebook this morning, her Sweat It to Shred It ebook. And I am going to do the eight week challenge and I'm going to record it all and I'll let you guys know know what I think of it if it works and I'm really excited to do it because obviously she's another fitness youtuber and you got to support your youtubers you got to support your girls and I think it's really great that she did that so I'm really excited to try it out and then later today well I'm gonna work out now and then later today I'm gonna like meal prep a little bit I have to go to the farmer's market get a couple of things and um, I have to get some eggs I think for dinner tonight I want raw pad thai so I have to go to Wegmans and get um, ingredients for that. So yeah, you guys just saw me look something out from under my nail. I love this song. So good. So I'm gonna start with the warm up because she always said to warm up. Alright, so that was just the warm up, but I'm already out of breath. For the workout today that I'm doing is the sweaty shredder, which she claims this to be like super intense and like kind of hard to do and um, really effective. So it says to start this on a Monday, but today's Sunday, but I'm doing it today anyway because, um, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. It's because I teach a double tomorrow. I do 9.30 a.m. and then 6 p.m. spin. So I didn't want to do this tomorrow. I want to do it today. And then tomorrow I can just like go to the gym and like lift and stuff. Pretty much it's like a circuit workout. So you do six reps of 30 seconds each. I got her app. Three, two, one, 10 second reps. This is no joke, man. Can't show everything, because I don't want to give away her ebook. I'll tune in with you after. I know why she calls it Sweaty Shredder. Look at all the sweat. She said that you'd be like dripping in sweat. And I literally am. I have two workouts left and I need this water. Do you see this? I'm still doing it. I have one more set. Oh my god. That was, uh, I don't know how long, probably 30 minutes, I'm guessing. Um, and it was great she said that you would be drenched in your sweat when you were done and i was i am i'm still profusely sweating it was a really good mix of cardio and toning and everything that was cardio was toning which was really good i didn't want to show all the workouts because i didn't want to like give away her ebook because she worked really hard on it and if you guys want it um, i recommend to go buy it and try it out for yourselves because if the rest of the program's like this um i can see how you would honestly change your body because i was a really really great workout um, and I did it all at home I didn't have to go to the gym there was no equipment that I needed at the gym I think the whole ebook is like that it's really important to stretch after a workout though so that you stay long and lean but that was really good I did it an at-home workout you could do that before school you could do it before you go to work um, just stay at home work out it only took it wasn't very long like during the workout I felt like it took a while because you're doing the same exercise six times but yeah it was a really really good workout and it feels good to be done my workout for the day and to be able to do it at home. Great job, Basera. So it's such a beautiful day out, so I have to lay out today. It's like rules of the summertime. If it's a nice day out, you lay out. I am going to make some hot lemon water. While I put away some laundry, hot lemon water is the best because it detoxes your body. It gets everything moving, everything flowing, cleans you out, wakes you up, and it's just a but I'm also gonna do a health shot for that. I'm gonna take a shot glass and chia seeds. Fill the shot glass with about yay amount of chia seeds. Chia seeds, by the way, are a superfood, okay? Chia seeds 
make the world go round. Put the water in said chia seed shot. Let it get nice and thick and gelatinous. Let it like sit like this for about, I don't know, until you're done your lemon water. And now you have hot lemon water. Oh, and final drink. Lots of liquids in the morning, okay? Liquids in the morning are key to starting you off on the right foot. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water and then I take this Cleanse Inner Beauty Powder. I really, really like this. It's a probiotic and a prebiotic. You just take about that much. You can measure it out and be all precise, but mix it all in and it gets like this gross swampy green color, but it really doesn't taste bad. Like, I promise it really isn't as horrible to drink as it sounds like. So this, let me just read to you what it is. I got it at um, Free People, but they sell it at Urban Outfitters and I think they also sell it at Anthropology, and you can order it online. So this is a certified alkalies and super greens powder with 45 nutrient rich ingredient ingredients including biofermented greens, pulses, fruits, spices, algae, herbs, prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes. Really good gut health, which is super important if you don't like, to, if you don't want to drink a kombucha or if you don't like the taste of it. This is really easy because all you need to drink is this much every day. You can put it in your smoothies, you can put it in water. Um, if I have like a smoothie for breakfast, I'll just throw that in. All right, let me get this laundry going. The uh, chia seed shot is looking Pretty good. You can just like slug it back like a shot, but it's gonna dip in. Uh, uh. And you know I don't play no games with you. I wanna lay with you. I wanna sing to you, girl. Sweet, sweet melody. Sweet, sweet melody. And you know I don't play no games with you. I wanna lay with you. I wanna sing to you. Sweet, sweet melody. Sweet, sweet melody. And baby, I apologize. But let me harmonize. Right now, fuck those other guys. They don't wanna see you shine with me as far as eyes can see. Your beauty rings like the sun, and I'm just soaking in your rays till I burn. I hope, I hope you coming close. I need. I am so excited about breakfast today. It is so good. So I just roasted some sweet potatoes over here on heat with a little avocado oil, and then I threw in some pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper. And then I threw in some broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I fried two eggs in avocado oil, pink Himalayan sea salt, and pepper. This is a little bit of Kite Hill chive dairy-free cream cheese to dip with my sweet potatoes. I love that combo together. Avocado for healthy fats. And then I'm adding in some Better Bean Co. Chipotle roasted red beans for my eggies because it tastes really good with the eggs. And there you have it. That's my breakfast. I'm packing up my bag for the pool right now and I'm using Danielle's backpack. So if you guys don't know, Danielle made a backpack and it is amazing. It's seriously like the best. There are so many pockets and it's just so nice and big. Yeah, I'm using this backpack today. If you guys want to get it, I will get the link from Danielle. If you guys want to order it, I'll link it in the description box down below. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys I'm using this backpack. So I think I last talked to you guys around like noon and it's now 5 o'clock at night. So the only thing that I've really done, the actually I've only done two things since I last talked to you. I went to the pool and I laid out for literally like three hours three and a half hours or so, and then I went grocery shopping for dinner tonight because I am making raw pad thai, but every Sunday night is Sunday dinner at my parents' house, so I always go to my parents' house and I have Sunday dinner there, and I said that I would bring raw pad thai, so I had to go get stuff to make it, and then um, my mom is also making something really yum, so I'm really excited about that. Um, let me show you guys what I got. Let me just like flip my laundry real quick. Actually, no, let me put away all my stuff and then I'll flip. I got zucchini noodles, and um, I don't know if I'm supposed to like cook these. It's a raw pad thai, so technically that means no cooking. Another bunch of bananas. I was going through these pretty quickly, and I needed some more. Clove of garlic. More eggs, I needed eggs. Ooh, larvar bites are like my new addiction right now. I'm really trying my best like not to eat a lot of these because they're like, they're not, they're good, ish for you but they're not like the best for you these are so good to munch on um to put them in like smoothies and stuff they are amazing larvar bites chocolate macaroon and the ingredients are dates semi-sweet chocolate chips unsweetened which is unsweetened chocolate sugar cocoa butter vanilla extract almonds dried coconut and coconut flour like that's it the other thing i don't like is that they added sugar into it i wish they really didn't do that and then my best friend brisa was like you need to get the caramel sea salt ones i'm gonna try these now so let's see. 
<laughs> They're so good. All right, then I got sesame seeds, tamari soy sauce because this is less sodium. Pure sesame oil, it said toasted sesame oil, but I couldn't find that, so I just got sesame oil. Hope it doesn't make a difference. And one large pepper. I just put some makeup on. I think I went a little too heavy handed on my makeup, but whatever. One toast with peanut butter and banana. One, because I'm having dinner soon, and um, honestly, it just sounds so good right now. I'm having a huge sugar craving, huge carb craving, and I'm just gonna have raw veggies for dinner, so I know that I'm not gonna get that sugar that I want. And then when I'm done eating this, I'm gonna start making my raw pad thai. So this is the peanut butter that I use, Santa Cruz Organic. Then you put the bananas on. I love cinnamon. A little sprinkling of chia seeds because superfood. This is um, purely Elizabeth granola. Sprinkle that on top. A little bit of cacao nibs for some chocolate. I'm gonna put on some coconut shavings. A little tiny bit of agave. And there you have it. Loaded uh, peanut butter banana toast. Yummy. All right, I'm going to make my dinner now. It's about seven o'clock and I'm going with my best friend Natalie over to my parents' house. So she gets off work now. So like by the time that she gets home and by the time that we're like going, it should be ready. It took me about 20 minutes and um, that was it. This is my raw vegan pad thai and it looks really, really good. So I'll let you guys know how it is at dinner. So well, this is dinner. We have a, what mom? Sorry, did you all get forks? I got a fork. Okay. We got a veggie burger, the raw pad thai that I made. Can I, I don't taste know the if zoodle? It's good. Did you not get any? Well, there was no noodles, there were no left. noodles left. Well, who took all the zoodles? Me. <laughs> Is it good? Oh my god, it's really good. It's really good, Tor. Really? <clears throat> really? Everyone's just lying to me. No, it's really good. So I'll good. try it, and then my mom made a Asian quinoa salad. Quinoa coleslaw. Some shrimp, veggie burger. Natty's here. Everyone's here. All right, so we're back from Sunday Din, but we want a little treat. So I'm mashing up two bananas and I'm gonna make a chia seed pudding. And then we're gonna do a generous amount of chia seeds. Oh, so, okay. I'm seeing the vision. And then coconut milk. You see the vis? I see it. It's gonna be, I made a really big serving because we love this. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. Okay, so let's just let this marinate, do its thing. Put it in the fridge. And now we just let the chia seeds do their thing. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day and um, I just went to sleep last night. I got super tired and I forgot to end the vlog. So I'm just gonna end it now. Um, it is 8.45 and I have spin at 9.30. So I'm leaving my house right now to go teach spin class. But um, yesterday, so I wanted to try to work out was so incredible, I'm really sore today. Like my calves are super, super sore. It might be because I was working out in bare feet, which like you shouldn't really do, but whatever I did anyway and I'm fine. Um, my calves are like a little sore, which is so good because I like I have a thing for like calves. I don't know, I always look at people's calves. Is that really weird? I like love muscular calves. So I'm really happy that my calves are sore. Um, and my back is a little sore and my abs are sore. So, um, and my quads are like a little tight and my booty's a little sore. So that was definitely like a full body workout. It was really, really amazing. And I'm really excited for more to come. I don't have one today, I have one tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys wanna see. Um, I'm gonna be filming another fitness vlog tomorrow, so I'll have another one coming out very soon. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.